Okay, I tried to videotape this with my Surface, and my Surface is not wanting to video. So, I had about a pint of, pint jar full of violets, and I added a cup and a half of just boiling water, regular water. Um, you can see where everything from the dye from the violets is coming down. You're going to want this to sit covered. I mean, you can do it out, you can do it in the refrigerator, but you want to leave it covered. Normally what I do is I leave it out until it cools down, then stick it in the refrigerator overnight. Um, so you want to leave it for about 24 hours. It's going to slowly turn a very beautiful blue. And then we will finish it up tomorrow um, after a 24-hour wait. Sorry you guys didn't get to see the video. Unfortunately, I thought it was videotaping, but it did not save. So this is the beginning of the syrup. Um, to prepare the flowers, I just went this morning and picked the violets. You can hear Mr. Matt is trying to go to sleep in the background here. Shh. Um, I always like to pick my flowers or herbs in the morning, not in the middle of the day when the sun's kind of burn off some of their moisture um, and oil flavoring and all the good stuff. Um, so and I just put this in a colander and rinsed it off with cool water before I added the boiling water and before I put them in the jar. Now we're going to finish up some of our violet syrup that we started on. So you can see this has been sitting here for, there you go, now you can see it. This has been sitting out, sitting with the violets for about 24 hours. You can see the colors changed. You can also see where I added a couple violets later. You can see that purple one right there in the front because it was after the boiling water had already cooled down a little bit. It did not soak everything out. Now I will tell you, I can smell the difference between what we did this year and what we've done in previous years. So I am not sure if it's because I'm doing it um, a couple weeks early or if it's because I left more of the green parts on the violets. So you may want to um, wait until it's a little bit warmer. Maybe the flowers will be sweeter or go ahead and take the green parts off of your flowers. Um, you know, let me know which one works better for you and how everything tastes. But we're going to go ahead and move on with this even though um, it does smell different. Maybe it won't taste different. We'll see as we make it. Okay, so I'm just going to use a regular colander that we have here. Nothing special today going to take your jar, pour the water right through there, make sure you have it all. What I like to do is take a spoon, smash this down, get all the water, so you can see where I added some violets later. They're really purple compared to the blue ones that were added when I added the boiling water. So that does make a difference that you want to use that hot water to get all this flavor out of your violets. Okay. Now we did a cup and a half of water yesterday. So you want to do whatever you end up with, whatever amount of water you end up with in your measuring cup, you want to use twice as much sugar. So I'm assuming I'm going to end up with a cup and a half. So I went ahead and just measured out the three cups of sugar. That does seem like a lot, but remember, you're making a syrup. You use it for flavoring and sweetening. Now, you will notice it's a blue collar. Well, maybe it's really purple. You can make it a deeper purple by adding a couple drops of lemon juice. I just don't. Okay. So mine's a little bit more than a cup of half it looks like. So we're going to take this into our pot and pour your water in there. Just turn on a medium low. Then you're going to add your sugar in there. Now most recipes will tell you to use a, um, a double broiler or double boiling pot. I just don't. I've been doing it for a while. Um, I'm not a big fan of having the two pots always. So now just mix it up and when it's almost boiling you want to take your syrup off of the stove. 
Okay, I'm about to pull this off. I did add some um, lemon juice to mine and it did make a huge difference. It went from a blue to a very pretty um, purple kind of lavender look. You can see it's starting to um, get to the point where it's going to boil. I just kept mixing it to get that sugar completely dissolved into the water. Um, I washed the measuring cup that I used earlier. And I'm just going to put this um, from the pot into the measuring cup because it is a lot easier to pour from the measuring cup than it is my pot. Now I recommend just getting a very pretty jar um, or a pretty um, glass and storing this in. You can store it in the refrigerator for about six months. Today we are going to add a little bit to some lemonade. I'm going to make some icing with it and the kids may have it over their ice cream this evening. Um, I love making homemade ice cream and then putting this on, putting it in the refrigerator, getting it cold, and then putting it onto the ice cream. It's just, it's just delicious during the summer. So let's go ahead and take this off. And we're going to put it right into our measuring cup. Now, like I said, this spring has been a little bit different. Normally we get a lot darker of a purple from our syrup than this, but it still looks very pretty. So, all right guys, that is your violet syrup recipe. Good luck.